Hi, this is Alex Coulson from SucceedAtDating.com. What I'm about to show you is another hidden camera video pickup direct. So I'm going to go direct. Um, very early on, uh, on this girl I met down at uh, the Opera House in Sydney. So about halfway through, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to give you three very quick tips on how you can improve your approach and how you can get out there and start approaching women during the day. So sit back, relax, and talk to you soon. Hi there. Hi. I, I just noticed you. I, was, I know it sounds really random. You probably get this all the time. But um, I just noticed you from down the stairs, and I, I had to say you are absolutely stunning. I'm Alex, by the way. Sheena. Sheena? Yeah. What are you doing on this lovely day, Sheena? What are you, what are you taking pictures um, of this for? The opera house. Really? Yeah. Are you, you a terrorist or something? Or? <laughs> Tourist. Oh, you're tourist. a tourist. High five, not a terrorist. We don't want you taking pictures of our national no. heritage, you know. We want you to blow anything up. But, uh... Yeah, and you're traveling with my friends. <laughs> oh, really? Because so, I look you, mind. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm not just doing cameras, right? I can't run in these shoes anyway. But, uh... Okay, so back to me. What you just saw there was a direct approach where I said you're very beautiful. Um, I know you get this all the time, but uh, yeah, you, you're absolutely stunning. I had to come and say hi. I'm Alex. Extend your hand and shake hers and introduce yourself. So that is going direct. And girls appreciate this during the day especially. They imagine uh, them themselves being approached in the day by a confident guy. So by doing that, you're fulfilling their little fantasy. So it's fantastic. Now, going direct, I just off the off the bat, I jumped into a few banter lines. Are you a terrorist? No, I'm a tourist. I've said fantastic. Um, you know, last thing we want is tourists coming over here and blowing up our national heritage, you know, our opera house. So, quick banter lines like that. Um, I asked uh, to see her photos, and she's like, yeah, sure. And I took the, like, took the camera, I said, well, you know, I'm not going to run away from your camera, I can't run in these shoes anyway. And quick banter lines, little, little one-liners that you can memorize, very easy. They help in the, the first, the beginning, inter uh, beginning of every interaction, they help. You have a few things memorized. So uh, let's continue with the video. I'm like a man on a mission today. I'm out just to meet some new people and I don't so know. You, you come you look... down to the opera house often picking up tourists? Oh, I didn't really pick up at all. I just talk and that's it. You okay. Know. Um, I think you're thinking too forward in our, our relationship <laughs> already. but. Um... <laughs> okay, so back to me. What you just saw there was a test. She was testing me. Do you come down here often picking up tourists? And I just said, well, um, I don't really pick up, I just talk. I think you're thinking too forward in our relationship already, and I playfully pushed her. This is, it's good that you respond to tests, so have a few things lined up, ready, locked and ready to go. What's the story? What are you doing today? Um, yeah, just looking around Sydney. Um, I've been here for about two weeks. I oh, haven't actually seen the offer house, so oh, really? I come down. Yeah, my friends uh, went out, had a big night last night. Really? So, yeah, I'm out on my own today. Where are you from? Uh, Canada. Canada. Yeah. Where about to Canada? Vancouver. Really? I live in Vancouver. Yeah. I had a crazy Canadian flatmate who used to live in Vancouver. She was, um, she was pretty nuts, but <laughs> <laughs> she was cool. Um, we're not all crazy. I know, no. She, um, <laughs> she, started, she gave me a call, and it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I was back to the flat, and she says, uh, she goes, hey, Alex, Alex, you know, you gotta, you gotta save me, you gotta rescue me. I'm like, uh, wh wh where are you? What's wrong? She goes, well, I'm at the art gallery, and I had a big night last night, and I took some acid, and I'm walking around, and I don't know how I got here, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I, I drove down there, I picked her up, and basically, yeah, she was just wandering around, she had no idea how she got there, and I, uh, yeah, I really looked after that. <laughs> are you still friends then? Oh, well, she went back to um, Toronto, so oh, okay. I haven't been in contact with her. Oh, not all like that. No, you're not? <laughs> awesome, respect. Respect, way to go. <laughs> okay, so welcome back. What I just did then is I told a very quick story about my old Canadian flatmate who's completely nuts. Uh, she called me up one day and she said that she, uh, she was in some art gallery at 3 o'clock and um, she had no idea how she got there because she, she took something the previous night. So uh, <laughs> it's a true story as well and I did look after her. Now telling that story, it's funny for starters. It also shows I'm very, I've got a very strict no drug policy because I don't tolerate that. But it also shows that I, I look after my friends. That I look after them, I care for them. 
you know, if they're in need, I'm there for them. And, I, you know, they've got a shoulder to lean on. They've got someone to come to. So it puts me in a uh, authority position so that, you know, I'm, I'm helpful. But it also says that I've got female friends and I'm cool enough for a girl to, like, you know, to hang around me. So um, having a few stories, one good story minimum. Two stories, fantastic. You're going to be on a roll. Having one or two stories memorized, you will have no issues when it comes to approaching women and continuing the conversation. A lot of guys, they just focus on the conversation starter and the approach. But once they get in there, they freak out. They're like, oh my God, what do I say now? How do I continue the conversation? So the girl starts looking around thinking, okay, this, is this all this guy's got? Is this his, you know, all his cards on the table? Well, for most guys, it is. So have a few memorized um, stories, lock and ready, ready to go, and you should be on your way in no time. Okay, so what you just saw then was another hidden camera video pickup. It was a trial version, so it's a sneak peek, about two minutes. That pickup clip was about 25 minutes long. 25 minutes long. It included me getting a phone number, getting an instant date. Uh, we did the whole, you know, surprise, candid camera at the end. And we also got her feedback as well, which is fantastic. She gets some good feedback on me and some tactics that are fantastic when approaching women during the day. And um, this is just one of eight videos that we have as part of our street dating reveal package. We've got eight video clips, we've got voiceover commentary, we've got transcripts to go with it as well, we've got audio, we've got audio bonuses chucking in there, we've got uh, the sweater interview, the sweater from Neil Strauss the game. We've got a lot in the street dating reveal package. Now if you want to take advantage of this special offer that we have right now, if you click on the link below, you'll take you to a page where we have a special offer for a limited time only, you can get it at a very special price. Well, that's all I have time for today. My name is Alex Coulson. I hope this video does help you. It does propel you to go out and give this a try. I hope it doesn't motivate you. But what is inspiring is if you see it live before your eyes. If you actually watch a professional uh, go out there during the day and really put this into practice. So hopefully head over to this link here, check out our special offer, and I'll see you soon.